Hi, uh, hi everybody. Welcome back to Get Thin with Ken. Just did a little grocery run. It's a little bit late at night, uh, a little late getting in, but I wanted to go over a few things that I picked up. Uh, we'll be going back to the grocery store tomorrow, um, but here's a few things. I've been craving some uh, ice cream, um, so what I did was picked up some of these right here. Uh, they're the Outshine, uh, no sugar added, and you can see some of the uh, ingredients there or calories and things like that. It's pretty low. Uh, for one bar, it's 30 calories, and it's um, six grams of carbs, so that's not too bad. Obviously, I won't eat many of those, but uh, those are there. If you get to where you need bread and you have to have bread, I used this last time I was on a diet, and um, this is the 40-calorie bread. It's fairly low on carbs. Um, for two slices, it's 80 calories, and total carbs is about 13 if you count off of the uh, uh, the dietary fibers. So about 13 carbs for two slices. It's not bad if you're making a sandwich, uh, but it is called Nature's Own Life Bread, and it's the 40 um, honey wheat. Here is the Vidalia onions that I like to eat, uh, Vidalia sweet onion. Um, we went to Publix tonight. I'll be making a Sam's trip tomorrow. Okay, so Parmesan cheese, something to note here. This is the Kraft Parmesan cheese. I know the lettering and everything's backwards because I've got it on reverse image. However, the uh, other one in the store had like a blue top and it said, hey, uh, lower fat, I think is what it was. But when you started looking at all the other comparisons, it had higher sodium, it had uh, higher carbs. This has zero carbs. Uh, it had like two carbs, which ain't, ain't a lot, but it was a difference. So make sure whenever you're in the store that you do pay attention to, even though it's got a label saying it's better for you, make sure it is because technically reviewing it, this one was actually better and it's really good. So these are new. I'm going to try some of these are 10 grams of protein and they are 90 calories. I think they're pretty small. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and open them so we can kind of see how small. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty tiny. So that's going to be just a, you know, quick little pick me up. Not, not something you're going to depend on for a meal replacement or anything like that. Uh, but they're 90 calories, and they're around eight grams of uh, carbs. And so hot chocolate. Um, there is some low calorie. See, this is a, a reduced calorie hot chocolate, and it has. The only downfall to hot chocolate is it is higher in sodium, 160 milligrams, which if you don't drink more than one a day, you'll be fine. Just you got to watch your your sodium because if if you don't, you'll retain water weight and it'll be frustrating to you. But 35 calories, uh, no fat grams, and it's got four carbs, so that's not bad at all. And that is the Swiss Miss brand. These are neat and. Uh, Obviously half of these are gone or more, but this is a, uh, it's a, it's a carb counter. You can see it says carb counter on it. Uh, and I think it's got like, uh, four or five grams of carbs, one fat gram, zero cholesterol, uh, and 40, 45 calories. So that's pretty good. Um, the sodium's at 220, so you don't want too many of them. Uh, chicken. And usually I go to Sam's to pick up all my chicken, but I did get some chicken from Publix tonight uh, just to hold me over because I'm out of meat. Uh, so I will be grilling some chicken tomorrow. And these are really neat. These are easy, quick meals. You can put them in the microwave or you can uh, do them in the pan do, and add some uh, low sodium soy sauce. But this is uh, some of the cauliflower. It's 150 for a cup or 340 for this whole pack. And you can see how much is there. That's probably guessing by the calories. It's a little more than two cups, so it's about two and a half cups. Some light sour cream. Um, my daughter's running through. Uh, light sour cream, some daisy light sour cream. I don't eat much of this, but I do whenever I'm eating like a taco meat or a stir fry or something, and I want to add a little something uh, to make it taste better. 35 calories. And uh, this one has got a little bit of cholesterol in it, so it's 10.5 milligrams of cholesterol. Um, but total carbohydrates one, so it's pretty low in carbs. It's not really bad for a sour cream choice. That's a pretty good one. And plus I like the taste of Daisy. This is for cooking some stuff 
that that tends to stick to a pan. So this is uh, some Pam olive oil, zero cal. It's zero everything. It has like nothing in it. I don't know how they did that, but it's pretty cool, and it doesn't make your food taste bad or anything. So you've heard me talk about Bolt House. So this is some of the Bolt House stuff. This is what it looks like. It's a yogurt sauce. Um, and then you have, they're both 45 calories for two tablespoons. Pretty similar in the way they compare. This is your ranch and it tastes a lot like your Hidden Valley. It's a little different. Now the texture's a little thinner, I would say, uh, but still a very good replacement for regular ranch. And I love ranch, so that's good to have around. But it is Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch Yogurt Dressing. You can see the label there and you can only get this that I have found in Publix. So just a heads up there. This is Honey Barbecue Ranch. So this is the other one I was talking about I eat with my chicken. Uh, this one's really good. It's kind of tiny bit like Chick-fil-A sauce with a little bit of twang to it. Um, so if you like Chick-fil-A sauce, you probably will like this. Uh, not a bad choice at all. Um, other than that, guys, I did get a couple more of these. So I was trying to load up on some simple stuff. This is uh, cauliflower rice is what it is. Uh, with some other mixed vegetables in it, but it's, it's really good. Hardly any carbs or anything like that, but just a quick grocery run tonight. I wanted to give you guys an update, kind of show you some of the things I'm looking at whenever I am shopping and uh, how I keep things, uh, you know, you can hear what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on carbs and I'm focusing on sodium and calories. So those three things are my main focus points. I'm not focusing so much on fat grams because if you pay attention to other things, uh, it tends to line up pretty good. You won't get a whole lot of fat grams if you're getting this this side right with these three things. So um, any uh, questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, again, this is Get Thin with Ken. So uh, if y'all have any good pointers for me, make sure you share them. Make sure you share with us and uh, make sure y'all uh, look out for one another. God bless. Y'all have a good night.